Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about this elite zone. It's Heliopolis, and it's one of the best zones in the game right now. A lot of people are farming it for many different reasons, but as you see here, there's tons of bosses that spawn, mobs everywhere. You're going to get insane territory standing, but not only that, some of the best in-game items and weapons available to us. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the bosses, where to find them, and what they're going to drop that you should be looking for. These are best in slot items for some of these weapons. And I think a lot of people are going to continue to farm these for weeks to come. If you guys go up to the north side of Heliopolis or the very, very top of Heliopolis, you're going to find a huge Zerg, most likely continuing to farm four or five bosses. So that's exactly what's happening here. As you see the big cat spawn, this is one of the best in the game to farm because it drops a very, very good ring as well as some other stuff as well. We'll talk about those here in like I said in just a minute but this is a great spot to be and if you guys are interested in getting to this spot heliopolis is in brimstone in the very middle you're going to want to collect all of these chests daily as well as they give you great item drops as well but here's another boss to continue to look at it's called Nikwiza of the shadow of course i'm going to spell a lot of these or say a lot of these or pronounce a lot of these very very incorrectly because they are insanely hard to pronounce in my opinion but uh you can see the weaknesses here so the weakness is being 20 percent more to slash damage or sorry strike damage 30 percent more to lightning damage and then 15 percent more to void damage if you really want to go for their weaknesses you definitely can do so it also shows the zone so brimstone sands valley of the gods and of course heliopolis you can see the red dot there on the map as well about exactly where it's going to be it drops weaver of wars as well as this is just one of the named items it also drops another one but this one has some pretty cool stuff about it with the keen plus the plague crits it's kind of unique but it's not going to be a best in slot quite yet but we have heart of nikwaza and this one's a pretty cool one it has crippling leeching and void damage again not going to be the best in slot probably for a lot of us but it's not a bad ring when it comes to named legendary so Pretty cool that you can get those two name legendaries up here. What else is there up here? Well, the next boss that we're going to talk about is going to be the Bathicate of the Cudgel. This is a guy that usually stands on the side by a chest, guarding it pretty much, and you'll actually grab him, pull him up the stairs by hitting him with a bow or hitting him with a fire staff or any kind of ranged attack. He'll run up there, and you guys will just basically zerg him. This is obviously in the zone Brimstone Sands, Valley of the Gods, and Heliopolis. Again, you can see some of the weaknesses yet again going to be that 20% strike damage, uh, lightning damage, and I believe it was void damage. So pretty cool stuff there. Uh, we have the Warrior's Energy, which is going to give you 24 strength, refreshing toast, nimble, and evasive. So not too good, honestly, but it's a named legendary, so you might as well go for it. We have the very, very solid Ancient Bane Cudgel, though. This is going to be 29 strength, Ancient Bane, thwarting strikes, and sundering shockwave. Depending on what you like to run with your hammer in these ancient dungeons, this could be one of the best really ancient Bane hammers out there when you can just go and farm it like this. It's going to be one of the best ways to get it too. So Monticle of the Shield is next in line. Like I said, 20% more strike damage, 30% more lightning damage, and 15% more void damage. So this is going to be another one to farm as well. And some of the cool stuff that you actually get from this one is going to be the Greaves of Monticle. It's going to give you 24 strength. And then Elemental Aversion, Freedom, and Corrupted Ward. So it's not going to be crazy, crazy good. But if you are looking for Corrupted Ward Pants, it might be an option for you. So next up, we have Kindred Shoe Magabal. Magabal Gal. I don't know how to say this one. Like I said, all these pronounced unbelievably hard for me. Or I would love to hear them pronounced in general. Just to kind of see what they uh, they come up with when it you know they say these things. But we have Threefold Storm Gore, which is a spear, 29 dex. Chain Lightning, Enfeebling Skewer, and Keenly Empowered. Not a bad kind of, uh, you know, thing to start with. Not a bad spear to start with. We have Heart of Magnable, and this is one that everybody is hunting for. This is best in slot for a lot of people. 24 Strength, Hardy, Keen Awareness, and of course, that Slash Damage. You're going to deal 4.8% more Slash Damage. It's massive for Slash Damage users and Strength users. This is going to be, like I said, something that tons of people are going to be hunting for. And that's why most of these people are up there. We also have Hekka of the Crossroads. This is going to be a little bit different of a spawn. Make sure to look at the video here. It's going to spawn much, much lower than every other boss we talked about so far. But the reason I'm mentioning this today is because it has regular pants in the roll. So if you get the drop regular pants, which I have, it's very, very strong. It has best in slot perks. So make sure to hunt that one down. We also have Heart of Hekka, which is a very, very solid secondary ring to look for as well with slash damage. 
leaching, and so much more. So we have the Thunder Intanius Autonum. This guy is a little bit special. He spawns up here where we're at right now. However, you have to summon him by having all the glyphs. If you're with a big Zerg like this, though, you're not going to have to worry about summoning him yourself. I'm sure they will on that cooldown. So make sure to take advantage because there's a lot of named legendaries here coming across the screen that you're going to be able to see. He drops all of these. The World Encircler, 29 Focus, Blessed, Keenly Fortified, and Refreshing Move. Fairly solid, if you ask me. We have Sun Drop. This gives you intelligence, focus, which is 40% or sorry, 47% mana regen, but nothing too crazy there um, when it comes to that weapon. But Eye of Ra is much better. It's going to give you Fortify Sacred Ground, Lost Bane, and it's going to kind of give you that idea of maybe using it in a lost dungeon. We also have Bull of Flame, which has refreshing Pillar of Fire, refreshing and keen speed. Of course, with the intelligence, not a bad item there to use as well. Going into the actual list of everything you can find, there's tons of legendaries across the board for these bosses. So that's something you guys should know. You aren't always going to get a named legendary drop, but you can get other named, or not named, but you can get other legendary drops as well as named legendary drops from these bosses. It's not just these specifics that we went over today, but these are the most common, most, you know, most reasonable drops you're going to get throughout running these bosses. But these are bosses that I and many of my company have continued to run. We've gotten the ring, we've gotten the regular pants, we've gotten all the best in slot gear from these areas. However, we have not gotten all of the pre -bis. So there's some you know, smaller pieces of gear that are not that great, but you could actually utilize them in certain scenarios. Those are things that we are probably going to continue to hunt for because honestly, it's nice to have pieces of gear that work in different scenarios and there's a lot of them out there in this area if Heliopolis. So this is with Brimstone Sands. Hopefully you guys like today's video. I want to continue to stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGarfGuy and show you guys some of these areas live. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow me there. But this is one of the guides that I kind of wanted to come out with so that you guys would actually know where people are getting best in slot gear without paying a fortune to get them. You know, people are either crafting it with all the legendary mats that cost so much to craft or even golden scarabs. But why do that when you can go farm something for a half hour or an hour and spend no gold but actually gain gold? Because remember, you're going to be able to get drops like the glyph. Uh, or these glyphs, you know, that I talked about in the last video that make you a ton of money. You're going to be able to get uh, so many different great things as well. Like, you know, just purple drops. Commonly, I get purple drops that are good. So here, let's see what this one is. This one shows you constitution, strength, resilient, physical aversion. It's not bad for somebody just starting out looking for some starter piece. There's good gear that drops, not just legendary names. So if you are new to the game or if you're a fresh level 60, you unlock Brimstone, you're able to get to Heliopolis, take advantage of this zone. That's basically what I want to say today in this video. Heliopolis, take advantage of the big Zergs up here farming these bosses. It's going to speed you up quite a bit when it comes to territory standing. When it comes to the best in slot perks and gear, you're going to find them a lot up here. And if you guys want, there is a song that can be played that gives you territory standing bonus. Bonus, and it's actually really, really good. As you can see here, that boss just gave me 192 territory standing. You get a ton of different legendary uh, resources as well, as you can see there in the bottom left. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.